Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit brushes or customize brushes in Medibang Paint. Just to be specific, this is the Android one, so it might look a bit different to if you're on iOS. Firstly, you're going to want to click this brush icon over here. And then from there, click your color palette right here. This will show you all the brushes you have. You'll probably have less than me if you're just starting out because I've downloaded a lot of them. To customize or change a brush, you're going to need to choose one first. So I'm going to change the watercolor one. You go here and then you press this setting icon. And then that takes you into the menu. From here, you can change its name, the opacity of the brush and the width, which is something you can do in there usually anyways and the minimum size, which essentially just means how much it will get thicker on the ends. So when it's at very low, the end of the stroke will be thin, but when it's at high, it will be the same throughout. Pen pressure size just changes how big it is depending on the pressure of your pen. Same with the opacity, but this only works if you have a screen and a stylus that has pressure sensitivity. Otherwise, it won't make any difference. My tablet does not have pressure sensitivity and neither does my stylus, so it doesn't change anything for me. Soft edge just makes the edges blend in a bit more, a bit of a airbrush effect. I usually keep it off, but you can put it on if you want. Ease of mixing colors is self-explanatory, it's just how easy it is to mix. Load color just means how much color they're going to put into the brush. Then once you've edited all these as you want, you can just click set and it will have been changed. There is no way to revert this back to normal. The best thing you can do is to find that same brush. You just have to find it on here. And then it's the same brush there. This works with any brush, but you have to bear in mind that your changes are permanent unless you go and get the same brush back from the store. This can work with any brush, just remember what you're doing and what the things mean, but don't be afraid to experiment a bit. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!